So hello everyone, Edgar's again and welcome to another inbox review from me. And today we are going to take a look at pretty new and uh, pretty interesting kit, the Haviland DH82A Tiger Moth trainer plane or biplane, however you call it. So they fix uh, old tool kit. Uh, yeah, they they had the old tool kit, but uh, they released. Uh, this new beauty and they come in two variants uh, like the military trainer uh, from 1960s or somewhere like that I, I haven't read the history of it and then you have this uh, like modern modern kind of modern trainer uh, from 2013 so the model is pretty interesting. I mean, I have taken, a, I took a look um, inside, you know, but there are some, you know, not 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 mistakes. I can't take mistakes, you know, but uh, kind of bad things and and places. But let's take a look inside, and at first, let's take a look at the box, so you can see there's a fix new. Uh, kind of 3D models, you know, you can see what your cockpit is going to look like and uh, what your, you know, like, kind of plane, everything else will look. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Okay. So this particular plane will be GACDC, the Tiger Club, from Headcorn, Aerodrome, Ashford, Kent, England, 2013. Actually, Kent is known for very, very, very good beer. And the British should know this thing, the good old Spitfire beer, which is a uh, tasty stuff. So, and then you have a little bit of history, you know, and... Uh, can see that the plane first flew in 1931 and uh, just so it's pretty old plane actually uh, I guess they they should make something special with a hundred years of it will will be here and uh, you know we can say that the plane is flying hundred years so anyway Let's take a look at this side. So here you have the uh, painting instruction, which is, you know, classic airfix for these, like, small boxes, the side open boxes, which I don't like, kind of, but, but they save place, you know, and uh, they're kind of better because the painting instructions come in color, but uh, in some of the models, and, you know, like, bigger boxes, the painting instructions come in, uh, you know, black and white, but some models haven't, haven't color yet, so everything's okay. And, uh, you know, still, uh, you have the decal placement and everything here because no big decals or kind of no big stenciling is going around here. Yeah, so you have no problems with applying decals, I suppose. And yeah, maybe with the metallic decals on on the sides because I checked them there. Metallic kind of sticky type, so they should be good. But but I guess we we'll, when we'll build the model, you know, when then then it will be better. And uh, here you can see you know the classic airfix, not classic airfix, classic modern airfix. Uh, the decals are printed by Cartograph which is a absolutely gorgeous thing and uh, thank you FX for that because you supply really good decals in your kits and you know the FX club everything else but one thing I don't understand why do FX need tumblr like are they hipsters no, not even hipsters are they like tumblr kits uh, or, or something like that uh, <laughs> I don't know I don't know why do they need Tumblr, but still, let's take a look inside. So as you can see, I've already opened the box because I couldn't stand it. I actually got this kit 
uh, yesterday from Robert basic modeling so thank you for that I appreciate it your mouse house is getting ready too and uh, yeah again spam oh here are the decals as you can see they are they're very very nice as always you know as the always the new um airfix decals and I, I i like those panels but i especially like the this little tiger club that's flying tigers sort of things yeah so and you can see you can see those metallic decals because they kind of blink okay not, not very much about decals so let's open the instructions As you can see, the new type, you know, uh, colored instructions, you know, the waffle and everything else. And here start, here's the start of everything, you know, the cockpit, everything else. And what I actually read the Airfix Twitter, you know, um, and then uh, I was kind of surprised that they showed, like, instructions with uh, the co-workers faces and I was like ha 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 but of course they wouldn't put it in a box well take a look at this and come on I mean seriously just <laughs> how how they can afford it like why but well Anyway, this is the part where the trouble starts, because you can cut out the doors and make them open, and then the kit supplies you with uh, open it doors already, yeah? so you don't need to uh, like make your own, and, uh, or carefully cut out these, you know, and the kit, uh, you know, like the doors that you get in the kit are very, very nice, good, you know, very very okay yeah so very okay and um, yeah basically uh, this is the place where the trouble starts because the door fittings um, aren't good they are like you need to drill a hole and then you have those two push pins and all the doors so you can glue them on uh, but you have like those holes marked and they are very very big and if you glue them in you'll have doors open it and you will see them uh, those holes and they are big and just if you have some washing cockpit you know like you bring you want to bring up so big you will bring up those uh, those two holes because you can't fill up them really because there's all this uh, framework going on but anyway i i guess we can we can uh, do something about that yeah but, but still that's that's a nice thing because airfix is trying to, to do something like this too yeah so that is very 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 fine i guess and yeah as you can see the colors come up and then you insert the, the panels panels come with the uh, compasses you know and very nice and detailed so a little bit of paint work and it will be okay uh, you can cut out this storage box and actually put put it the storage box in inside there yeah so I'll probably do that because uh, that would look better and uh, more interesting and yeah in the previous steps uh, they show you to cut out this panel you know to insert something like this and no i'll check out the internet why why it's happening because i don't think on box nope it has those kind of back rings on the box too well okay um engine assembling yeah uh, kind of not even engine assembling they're like uh cowling assembling and, and, and propeller 
you know, but, but anyway, I don't think the rear ring, sorry, not rear, lower, uh, the radiator, I suppose, some, you know, ring balancers or supporters or however you call them, some struts and, uh, you know, uh, what the horizontal stabilizators, and here you have the rudder. Uh, more struts, uh, these are the chassis, okay, and yeah, about the clear parts, they are like armored glasses, they are so thick, so I guess you will need to replace them if you are kind of uh, advanced modeler, yeah, but they are, they are thick, very, very thick, and I like this part about the uh, you know, wing struts in between them. Uh, you, know. you know, and between them, you have like these supporters, so you position them right. And after gluing it everything together, it means after even after painting, because I, uh, you know, you'll probably paint the uh, upper wing. Um, like another piece, you know, and only then you will glue it on. And uh, simply you just cut out these things you can see here, and uh, yeah, just just take them out, and you have nicely uh, correctly put on uh, wing supporters. Now. They offer you rigging instructions, and as you can see, they offer you various uh, places for the riggings, and like like the most basic ones, because you can find more if you look on the aircraft. And there are like, you know, rudder ones, and uh, the supporter strings, more supporter strings, various other things, you know, like for... Uh, for everything, you know, ailerons, everything like that. But what I don't really like is that they could make actually these drawings in like real life and like 70 second scale drawings. So you can put on like, I like to use the stretch sprue, so you put it on and kind of cut off the piece and then you have a nice, uh, nice piece already to glue in. But I guess you can sort it out somehow. Okay, let's go and get it's already 30 minutes going on. And yeah, here are the clear parts. As you can see, let me try it. They are super thick. You can see they aren't usable for for this plane. They should be like a I don't know. 0.2 millimeter. I'll use 0.13 estate probably for that because I want it really, really thin. Okay, that would be nice. And um, yeah, let's go on the screws. And the first thing that I really uh, kind of saw, you know, yeah, are the exhaust and exhaust system, which is very very nicely detailed as you can see very very nice and you can drill up a hole and it will look brilliant there you have this nice coal uh, the coal is uh, you can see pretty thin and then soft so it's okay too the rudder um, some struts uh, propeller and uh, that spinner thing uh, you know more struts and this is the upper wing and uh, I mean everything is good you know it's like you can hear it it has some texture on it and um, you know these kind of recessed uh, and uh, recessed and race detail going on here so that's that's a nice thing okay the next screw uh, the pilots, they are not the classic airfix ones, and it's kind of pity uh, they could use the, the airfix pilots, but these are 
kind of different and they are smaller they are not 70 second scale there they are smaller uh, uh, sorry just early morning just woke up um, yeah they have I suppose some some supporters for something and then you have these these nice lovely panels as you can see with the compass and they are not actually very overscaled you know I mean a little bit of sanding and they will be okay there are wheels with some nice recess detail um, like the front chair you know, and in this wall and then you have these doors as you can see those those push pins then you drill drill out a hole and you know and then I have chassis struts uh, which are actually a bit incorrect here and they shouldn't be touching uh, between and then I suppose yeah because there the amortization goes you know kind of they should be free to to move and then you have the lower wing which is actually very nice too and the last sprue is actually the, yeah the, the kit comes on three sprues and that that's uh pretty a lot because you you can't see in an uh, airfix kit uh, a lot of airfix kits that come on three sprues uh, because they, the classic thing is like two uh you know the bombers and everything else of course you know but but not these things especially shut such a small plane because look at this it's it's tiny. I mean, this is the seventy second scale Kubel wagon. You see, it is tiny, and um, so yeah. Here's the trouble. As you can see, let me try to focus. As you can see, there are like two holes here and two holes here, and like you need to drill them out. You know, cut out the doors if you want. And, uh, oh, yeah, but, uh, why, why, you, you can just simply glue it on, on the wall or, like, on that straight part, like, uh, okay, you can sort it out. The back chair, uh, the radiator, uh, cockpit floor, floor-ish, and those wing stabilizers, you know, the wing struts with the uh, correction things and and that is a really nice thing that is a really nice thing uh, but remember to cut them out you know and don't leave them and then you have the uh, horizontal stabilizer which comes in some yeah it, I mean, it's soft and thin so it's it's good and then you have two versions for the chassis because like the RIF and the Royal Air Force one has wheel on the back but this the, the modern trainer has a peg on the back so that's a nice thing then you have these like the, the wing part uh, not the wing part, the, the back part, sorry uh, that you glue on after you cut out this panel and, and you know more filler it adds just more filler to the model and then you have this uh, little thing which is such a badly mold I guess you can see it. it it is like what the hell is this but that is the detail for engine actually that's the air intake for it kinda so yeah, this was the kit, and as you can see, it has its pluses and, and minuses, and you should probably uh, think about it before you get it, before you get it, because, you know, or if you buy it, you can buy two, then you have, uh, like, one spare, and uh, as the same as we did, uh, as I did with the Fallen Gnats and the Vampires. Uh, so yeah, this was the review, I hope you liked it, it's a bit longer than uh, any else uh, inbox reviews from me, but this is kinda a big kit, 
you can say uh, you know it's it's detailed so it takes some longer time and it's and it's completely new you know uh, the new style and it's not the old old classic fashion style so you know need to talk more about it but still I, I hope you like the review and uh, I will see you in the next video I suppose and uh, only two days left until the start of the uh, what if group build so stay tuned and uh, see you later bye